Hi, welcome to the first tutorial for MIT WPU Digital Library. The tutorial covers a general overview on some of the basic features and how you can access the platform. The platform sits at mitwpu.refreed.com. Please make sure you don't use www in the URL. mitwpu.refreed.com is good enough. Before we cover the platform features, please note that while accessing the platform features or its content from outside the campus, a login is must. Some features like saving content for future reference, setting up TOC alerts, or in order to place item requests, just in case you are not able to access the full text or you are not able to find the resource, you need to log in. In general also, we recommend our users to log in because logged in activity helps us understand your reading behaviors and helps us serve you better. To log in, you need to have your own personal account. In case you don't have your login details, please send your full name, your enrollment number or employee ID, your department or school. The email address is mandatory and you can also send us your mobile number and send these details to nitin.joshi at mitwpu.edu.in the librarian for the university library. Now let's just look at the platform. The platform sits on mitwpu.refree.com. Just click on the login button and you can sign in using your own email address and the password provided to you. You can set up your own password of choice by going into the settings section. Once logged in, you can access all the e-resources by browsing by discipline by publisher by media type or going into these different topic collections let's just click on elzevia journals to see the list so if i click on elzevia journals all the elzevia journals subscribed by the university are displayed i can click on any one of these journals the authentication is done on the publisher platform by the platform itself let's say i click on this pdf link and the pdf will be loaded i will get the same experience as i would get if i was sitting in the campus so it's pretty seamless let's just try that again for another publisher this time epsco business source complete i click on the link in the e-resources section i get all the 3700 plus journals subscribed via EBSCO. I click on one of them. Again, the authentication is done on EBSCO by the eLibrary platform, and I can read the full text. I can do that for all of these publishers. Let's just see the entire collection on this eLibrary by clicking on all content. As you can see, there are more than 6 lakh full text publications available on the platform, out of which many are curated from open access platforms and 38,000 plus publications subscribed by the university. In terms of media, it's a rich coverage of thesis, video, ebooks, conference proceedings, journals, magazines, databases. I can even filter by year of publication or just use the search within filter to limit results by keywords. So I did video streaming. Out of those 6 lakh plus publications, now I have only 111 which I can see either by grid or record format. Apart from e-resources, there are other engaging collections like biographies, expert talks. Let's just see expert talks. Yeah. So 468 expert talks from engineering, science, social sciences, from TED Talks, from Big Think. In terms of literature, there is a collection of about 2000 plus publications in english hindi urdu and punjabi language now let's just try a keyword search i look for nanotechnology related publications and the platform fetches me all the relevant publications related to nanotechnology i perform a filter for ebooks and let's say i want to read an ebook i click on the read button and the platform will load the full text page. 
It's as simple as that. If I was looking for latest research articles, I just switch over to that tab called articles. And now the platform will fetch latest research or news articles from different publishers subscribed by the university. So now instead of going to IEEE, JSTOR, ASME, Science Direct, or DOAJ, I can just perform the search on the C library and the E library will do the job of fetching the results. I have performed the filter on IEEE and clicked on a result. Again, the authentication is done on the publisher platform and I can read this IEEE research article. Either in HTML format or I can just download the PDF if I wish to. So now instead of going to different publisher platforms, all the publisher platforms are now integrated with the e-library and they are available to you across the globe. You can even do complex search queries for publications or for research articles using this advanced search form. If you found anything of interest to you and you want to save it for future reference, just click on this button called Add to Reading List. Create a folder. You can create as many folders as you want to. Click on the save button and now this document, this it could be a journal, it could be an ebook, a video, it's available for future reference in the reading list. You can save as many documents as you want to. You can do a lot with these saved documents. You can send them to your friends, you can uh, download the citations, uh, you can even save your search queries, but more on these features in the coming tutorials. Please note that your IP address will get blocked if you make more than four unsuccessful attempts to log in. You must never share your account details with anyone. We are very sensitive to publishers' copyrights and their intellectual property rights. You can read up to 50 resources when you are not in the campus in a day. But this limit can be increased if you place a request to us. For any support, for any feedback, for any suggestions, please write to us at nitin.joshi at mitwpu.edu.in or at support at refit.com. You can even contact us at the given WhatsApp number. We look forward to serving all your reading interests. Till the next tutorial, goodbye, happy reading.